Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a great Christmas. If you're watching this as it's being uploaded to YouTube. And uh, hopefully I am too. <laughs> I'm actually making this video pretty much the last day before I leave to go visit my parents over the holidays down in southern Finland. So I'm speaking to you from the past. Um, it's gonna be the first time that I've done this. Uh, this being recording a week beforehand and then scheduling the video to come up. So I'm, I'm hoping it works out. <laughs> Kitty just went to the bathroom. I hope you can't hear her peeing. Um, but yeah, I'm making this. I'm in the middle of cleaning my home before I leave. I still have the bathroom and Kitty's room, aka the guest room, left to clean. Not much, but still enough to make me a little bit uh, unfocused on everything. And I have to pack and I need to get my files with me so that I can update the comic while I'm gone. Um, oh, I haven't even added the speech bubbles to all of the pages. I have finished the three pages that I need, but yeah, speech bubbles I haven't done yet. So I need to do that. I need to take a bunch of boxes to the cardboard uh, recycling. Uh, place <laughs> whatever they're called they're just like um, like a box you can put cardboard in so that it gets uh, recycled I have like uh, piles of uh, boxes that I've been saving up I need to take those and then I need to um, wash a bunch of clothes and oh there's so many little things that I still need to do I'm going crazy and I'm being really unproductive because I'm like uh, when there's too many little things and I need to go somewhere like traveling I kind of get stuck and um, then I get nothing done like I do everything 50% and then I move on to the next thing and nothing gets uh, finished properly uh, I'm sure a lot of other people have the same problem where you just want to be able to finish one thing when you have too many things to do. And I'm giving Kitty some scratches. She came over. Um, but yeah, um, I promised you guys I would also show you the studio update in this video. And I will. I took a little bit of a recording on it. And uh, I'll um, add it in once we start like coloring this piece. I think there's a good point there where we can inject some of the footage um, but first I guess I should say something about what we're painting <laughs> it's just a random illustration idea I had Lolly and Emil for some reason being in this really unrealistically broken building with some sort of uh, a troll monster climbing up after them and I wanted a slightly, or a almost isometric, top-down um, perspective. And just uh, have it looking a little bit platform-ish. In the sense that you have like a close-up um, foreground, which we are coloring in right now. Very dark, and then like the middle ground where they are, and then like the third level where the monster is uh, crawling towards them. And yeah, it was just for fun. Uh, it took a um, few hours to do uh, line arts first and then watercolors. The way I like to do my cleaner watercolor paintings. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go take a look at the studio before we continue the rest of the colors. Alright, I'll see you guys uh, soon. I promised a studio tour or a studio update, not a tour, not uh, not before it's finished, but uh, here we go. 
Wee! Tada! <laughs> no, this is the <laughs> this is the back room. Um, for those of you who don't know, my studio space that I bought used to be a bank office. Um, back when banks had offices and everything wasn't done online, <laughs> so this is what uh, that was the back room, and it is my. Um, workspace um, I saw things here which is why there is sawdust and saws and disassembled old furniture uh, I've taken like I had like this big stack of garbage here <laughs> like this kind of stuff that I took to the dump and I couldn't fit more in my car and I need to take one more trip to fit these and these and other little stuff but uh, let's get into the actual studio you can see the floor that i put in this is the old floor mm -hmm. and here we go oh, the <laughs> i removed the door frame so it's very pretty uh, and there's the old door but yeah this is the studio as it is right now um this right here <laughs> is going to be like a launching space. I'm gonna put a sofa right there, which is what that uh, line is. It's just tape, masking tape. People are shouting outside. Oh well. Um, and this is just a little separator wall that separates the launching space from what's going to be storage and uh, my beautiful family the heirlooms <laughs> oh, I love them so much they make me so happy when I come inside here oh let me see how it looks when I come inside uh, dun -dun 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 ah so beautiful yeah I have them here very nice. They're not actually like mine, they belong to the family, but uh, they used to be on the wall in my grandparents' um, cabin on the little the little island in the woods um, on a lake. But uh, there's no electricity, so there's also therefore no heating. And uh, after, I guess, 50 years or something, some of them have started like molding. My parents noticed it last year and they needed to be relocated, obviously. So I happened to have my studio that I just got. <laughs> so we decided that uh, they can, or I volunteered to take care of them. So here they are. Very nice. My great grandfather's old snowshoes and some sheep herding horns, I guess, or maybe some other herding horns, cows, a uh, backpack made out of birch bark, very nice. Yeah. Very sturdy. Um, shoe made out of birch bark. <laughs> Everything is made out of birch bark. This one and that one and this one. You can see from the inside. And those two with lots of birch bark items and this one I think is also birch bark I do not understand what that noise is is that an adult human making that noise or is that a dog or children I don't I can't tell but <laughs> anyway uh, let's continue um, oh yeah, this wall, as you can see, is <laughs> cracking, and that's because I installed it or planked it when it was summer, and uh, very humid and hot, and now it's winter and very dry, so it's uh, the planks are shrinking, obviously, and cracking a little bit. Uh, that's fine though, It's uh, it doesn't really bother me. It would be worse if I had uh, done it the other way around, and uh, you know, it uh, became summer and the planks were like ripping themselves off the walls by expanding so I prefer it uh, this way around but yeah let's continue uh, this is the workspace oh it's getting kind of dark outside 
uh, I'm gonna have a computer over here. That's why it's empty. Have some daylight. Oh, I think that's a dog actually. Yeah, it's a dog crying. <laughs> Poor doggo. I think it's waiting for its owner. Mm, just some plants. I don't know what these are. Uh, I just bought them to test kind of out if uh, they can live in this light. And they can. It's been like three months at least. Um, and there's only like three hours of daylight <laughs> this time of the year. So they're doing fine. They're green and fine. Um, and they live, I think I paid like five euros for them <laughs> at like the hardware store. Um, I guess I'm keeping them until they die. This one I'm hoping to grow. So I think I made from like a pretty wine uh, that can crawl over the wall or something. Uh, then I have we, our actual like painting space. Let's back up a little bit. Um, I have these boxes that I'm painting blue on the inside, white on the outside, uh, that I'm gonna have like stuff in, like painting materials, uh, measuring tape, eraser and uh, whatever that's called but yeah i'm gonna put them on the wall like right now they're just stacked there i'm gonna attach them to the wall right there and that's gonna be my storage space and also i need somewhere to put my palettes and paints and stuff but what's going on with this guy <laughs> he's supposed to be in one of those little holes but he's kind of falling out uh, that's fine um this i built it's a little shelf, I guess. And then I have those, uh, or over here is like a, it's more like a visual blocker because uh, when it's dark outside and light inside, you can kind of see, you know, movement easily from the outside. And I don't want people seeing me move around in here. So I'm putting like stuff in front of the window a little bit too break the visual line um yeah that's it also plants that i bought um i think they're called crotons in english they're called like wonder bushes in finnish <laughs> apparently um these cost 190 per piece because i got them right before the christmas um season started as far as plants go so these were like getting sold away as, uh, you know, last year's stock to make room for Christmas flowers. And uh, they were like not doing so well. Then they just wrapped up in plastic and they had a bunch of rotting leaves. <laughs> so I needed something extra to put in here in front of the window. So I thought, you know what, they're big enough that they'll block a little bit of view. So we'll see if they'll live. And they're actually living. Um, they've been here for a couple of weeks. and. Let's see. Look, there's new leaves coming. All of these are little new leaves. And uh, all of these stems that are broken are rotting leaves that I cut away. And the other one is also growing similarly. So there's going to be some new leaves next year. And that's a grow light that uh, comes on during the night or evening when the sun goes down. And um, this is... <laughs> okay, let's go over here. And um, this is where I do messy stuff, like paint all of the boxes and stuff. I have some more of those shelf boxes to paint. Another thing that I'm going to store art supplies in, it's a wine bottle <laughs> that you get for like one euro uh, before Christmas this season. And they were a nice shape, so I bought two of them. Uh, just wall paints, a plank. Um, some lights that I don't know where I want to put yet, probably in the corners. Um, yeah, just working on this place. And this is like this storage corner over here for planks and stuff. And it's going to be the place where I store like my comic books once uh, everything is done. Yes.
and now it's just storing random stuff that I'm going to throw out once, once everything is done. And you can kind of see how horrible <laughs> the lighting in the like the old place used to be, like the studio. Right now, I'm not using any of the uh, ceiling lights because they are that kind of green, <laughs> green yellow color. I've instead bought like uh, daylight lamps and some warm red lamps to also help with the, a nice mood. But yeah, oh, that looks so horrible. Uh, that's how everything used to look in here. <laughs> so yeah, and this is gonna be like the space where I'm gonna have like a packing table and stuff. So yeah, that's what it looks like right now. Uh, Ellie, I'm pretty happy with it. Not that. <laughs> I'm gonna put something there. Um, but yeah. That's the update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will show you guys again in a few months when it looks hopefully done or something. Alright, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that little look. And uh, for those of you who don't know, um, getting a studio outside of my home was one of my main life goals for this year. Um, it was maybe the main goal. No, main goal was uh, learning to drive. <laughs> that was a little bit more uh, pressing. Goal number two was get a studio space. And the reason is uh, um, for the longest time I've been planning on um, eventually getting back to stocking my comic books myself. Um, I used to you know, have them at home and I would sell them online and uh, I got really stressed out by having my only bedroom taken up by a book storage and packing table and all of the mess that came with that and uh, also my home is kind of really difficult to access by bigger vehicles so you know delivery of uh, books or packaging materials by truck or pick up by the post office was, you know, I really didn't envy the truck drivers <laughs> having to navigate their way over here. So that wasn't ideal in any way, shape or form. So I kind of stopped doing that, uh, stocking the books myself. So the only way to get them were from my like uh, online webcomic publisher people from America. And um, yeah, I've been forever trying to come up with some way to have them also stocked uh, over here in Europe. So yeah, I needed a studio space for that where I could have it not in my home. And this year I decided that it's time. I need to print book three soon and I can't do it without uh, uh, having the space for it and uh, everything. So. I was really lucky, I found a great space um, in my price range that I was able to afford it and uh, like it's the exact size that I need and it's the first first floor so you know getting packages out and in won't be a hassle um, and you know it's accessible to the door by a truck and uh, all the kind of little things that I needed that were a problem uh, with my home storage situation so yeah that's that's the reason for studio like obviously I'm using it uh, for painting also like that's the secondary reason uh, or more like a bonus me being able to use use it as a proper painting studio because I don't want to do it at home um, I for some reason I I'm really afraid of uh, getting paint on my furniture <laughs> so I only do digital digital art at home so yeah that's uh, like a bonus that I have like one side of the studio where I can do this kind of painting and the rest of the space is going to be just for comic storage and uh, packing space eventually but uh, that's next year's plan this year was get the studio next year get the comics <laughs> that's uh, 
honestly, I'm going to start with getting book 3. I mentioned this in the live streams um, on Twitch every now and then when people ask that I'm going to print book 3 in the spring. That's like my one main uh, goal for next year and have it like a regular old, old pre-order for it. And um, then if I have the energy and time, book printing obviously takes several months, uh, then I try to get some restock of book 1 and 2. Um, but we'll see, you never know how long things take, so it could be that it's just book 3 next year and uh, then book 1 and 2 reprints in the year after it, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Either way, it's gonna be book time. <laughs> but um, yeah, I that's all I really had for this video. I'm gonna get back to cleaning my bathroom and all the other things that I can't even remember what I needed to do. <laughs> my mom is coming tomorrow. I need things to be decently done before she comes because then I'm gonna be even extra frazzled and won't remember anything. Um, but yeah, oh, enjoy the peeling of the tape. It's finished. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. I'll be back. Um, normal streams will be back on when I'm uh, home again and everything will be normal. Um, oh, I'm so stressed out. I hate schedule changes and routine differences. Holidays are so, so tiring. <laughs> but. Uh, at least I will greatly enjoy being back to work and normal routines uh, in a week. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching and bye bye.